Hi there, my name is Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube. And today I'm making a reindeer vest card, which is a little funny of a name. I'll tell you the story as we go along. I'm using W plus nine's stamp set called Santa's Reindeer. And it's got a bunch of reindeer, a Santa Claus, a chimney, and some sentiments. I bought two of them by accident, double clicked when I was shopping at Ellen Hudson. So when I got two of them, I realized I get to do a giveaway. So one of you will benefit if you would like to potentially win this stamp set, go leave a comment on my blog today. And I'm going to try to pick the winner real quickly. I think I'll do it either a day or two only for the opening of the giveaway so that you can get the stamp set in time to use it. So I'm coloring on Desert Storm Mina cardstock. It's one of my papers that I like to do my color pencil on. You may choose to do something softer if you have trouble with color pencil. So a Bristol or something can sometimes work better. But I like this one and it's Desert Storm. So it means that the white that I'm going to color is going to show up because otherwise your white kind of doesn't really pop on a card. So I like to use Desert Storm when I'm going to have some white Santa Claus little features and uh, little puffy things. And you can see the numbers for the color pencils that I'm using. I don't always write them down with color pencils because I often use a lot, but I chose a small range of colors because I'm going to use them across the entire card. And I'm doing this at real time speed, but I will eventually be speeding it up. But rest assured, it's the same pencil colors that I'm using in the rest. I'm using a purplish color. It's a reddish, dark, dark reddish purple color for the shadows here. And when I'm coloring with colored pencils, I often only use two colors to shade with because you don't really need a third quite often. So I'm uh, using the, the purple as the shadow going with this. If you wanted to do some shadowing with your white, you could actually even just do hard white highlights and let it fade down so that the, the paper, the craft paper, actually acts as the shadow. But I'm just coloring kind of solid white to make those really stand out nicely. And I'll use two browns to color my reindeer. Now this is where the reindeer vest story comes in because when I was looking at this I wasn't really thinking ahead very much and I didn't realize until later I'm sitting here coloring his his little arms with the brown and that's probably supposed to be the arms of his Santa Claus jacket <laughs> so my reindeer I decided we're all going to be wearing vests instead they're wearing Santa vests so yeah, there you have it. Sometimes your brain just doesn't kick all the way into gear and I think it still is going to work. So you can judge at the end whether Santa vests on the reindeer were acceptable or not. But for some people it might drive you crazy and I apologize for that. So I'm using my secondary color to do my shading on my reindeer to give him a little bit of depth and roundness because that's always a good thing doing some shading underneath of the chin, trying to make it a little heavier so that his head pops forward. And I like to use a really sharp pencil. If you've seen a lot of my coloring videos with colored pencil, my pencils tend to be really sharp and I, I sharpen them often while I'm coloring. And the Quiet Sharp is an amazing pencil sharpener. Even though it's a huge monster, it is physically a giant beast. And so if you don't have a lot of room on your craft desk. You may need to find an arrangement to have it somewhere else in your room, but it's fabulous. It's a school sharpener, so it has a lot of different options for different size pencils. So if you have a range of pencils, it also works great for that. You just dial in a size, but it gives you a really sharp point and it also stops when it gets to sharpness. It doesn't keep eating your pencil where there are a lot of pencil sharpeners. And believe me, I spent hundreds of dollars on pencil sharpeners trying a bunch of them out and they ate my pencils so much that I just gave up on them. And I finally found this one and it's not cheap, but it's very well worth it. Had a lot of people email me back after getting it going, oh my gosh, it was so huge, but it works so well, it's okay. So <laughs> take that as their endorsement of the pencil sharpener. Links to the sharpener and the stamps and everything are in the doobly do, of course, down below. So I'm using a very sharp pencil and a very light touch to do layers of color. And I actually even decided to put a little bit of brown on this green bag because it just wasn't strong enough with the two greens that I chose. And now I'm gonna speed massively up. I decided I would just do one at real time speed and then fill in the rest. Uh, one of the things that I find that I get a lot of questions about with colored pencil is, and don't worry about that one leg that I forgot, I do go back and get that one later. <laughs> With colored pencil, a lot of people ask me, do my pencils break 
a lot as I'm using them or when I'm sharpening them or anything. And actually, I don't find I have that problem. And I have with particular pencils once in a while. And what I have come to discover is that it's probably that you've dropped the pencils or the pencil case or it got dropped in shipping. Sometimes it can even actually get dropped in shipping. So if you purchase them and right away all your pencils are breaking, that lead inside could be cracked. So check them fairly quickly after you buy pencils and make sure that you can sharpen them nicely and that they're going to work and color an image fairly well without the lead breaking because otherwise you might want to return them and get some pencils that have not been distressed. And if you hear jingle bells in the background, that's my dog running around in the background. I tried getting, getting them to nap while I was doing voiceovers. And when you want them to nap, they just never do. That is, that I just have discovered that's the way it is with puppies. And I can't send them outside by themselves while I'm working because they will tear up my yard. So they're here trying to sleep. And here's my card. So I added a little sentiment on a piece of white cardstock, a little scrap, and tied a little bit of twine around it. Did a bunch of layers of cardstock just to give the card a little more beef and interest. And I think it came out really fun, regardless of my, my little jackets turning into vests. So I hope you enjoyed this video. There's a couple more pencil videos here. If you're interested in seeing some more, you can hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet already. Be sure to go to my blog. I am going to have a very short timeline on this giveaway, so check it out right away because I want to get the stamp set out to somebody quickly so you have time to use it for your Christmas cards. Thank you so much for joining me. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you again next time. Have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.